Thailand has a really rich tropical flora. It has over 11,000 species, and a lot of them aren't found in any other parts of the world. So we're here at Queen Siriket Botanic Gardens in Chiang Mai province of northern Thailand, and we're providing a training course for our partners who are setting up a new national seed bank in Bangkok. There's going to be a network of seed collectors, and we're training them in best practice in the field and in processing the seeds so that they can be banked. We've been training the participants how to make a really high quality seed collection. So for collecting in the field we use a variety of techniques. One of the first things to think about is that we don't want to damage the natural population of plants by collecting too many seeds, so we carry out a pre-collection assessment. We teach the participants to take a cut test out in the field, and this helps us to calculate the quality of the seed collection. It's really difficult sometimes to collect from trees. The trees in Thailand can be very tall, and one of the techniques that we use is the throw line. The herbarium specimen helps us to identify what that species is. We also collect data on the soil and the rock type. So once we get the seeds back into the lab, the most important thing about seed banking is that the seeds need to be dried. And so we teach participants how to dry them effectively and you can use really good low-tech techniques like drying on silica gel. We can do many different things to clean a collection. For example, we can use sieves of different sizes to remove different sizes of debris. We can uh, wash wet fruits off. We can use a machine called an aspirator, which uses an airflow to separate the seeds based on weight. We're teaching the partners to do germination tests. This is a really important part of seed banking. It teaches us how to get the seeds to germinate and then enables us to check the viability of the seeds to see if they're alive or not. It's been great to do the practical sessions with the trainees and show them uh, what I do in my own work, but also it's been great for them to take us out into the field and for them to show us their native flora. Everyone's so passionate and so enthusiastic about the work they do here, and the partnership's absolutely crucial. Um, the sharing of information, the sharing of knowledge and the sharing of resources is incredibly important for us all to be successful in conserving our floras. Q's really lucky to have some great partners to work with here in Thailand and it's really important to work with them because they are the experts in their native flora and so we can all learn from each other. We have the opportunity to uh, practice from the expert here so we know how to collect the seed in the standard way. I plan to use the thing that I learned from this training in my job so the next time when I have the field trip I think I can collect some seed and send to the seed bank in Thailand and also maybe some copy to the Q. So it's really important to set up a national seed bank now because threats to their native biodiversity are greater than ever. It's a good step to learn how to save our important national treasure, our plant diversity, and save it for our future.